Shalom. Let us say our praises due unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double arms of the apostles, upgrade and most of them. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Um, this is just a short impromptu lesson um, in regards to the Sephardi Jews in the Netherlands. Alright, and um, let's read. As a result, in the Alhambra, that decree of 1492, and the religious free person like and the religious rep repression that the repression of the holy office of the inquisition many sephardic spanish and portuguese jews left the iberian the peninsula at the end of the 15th century and through the 16th century All right so um there are a lot of our people that was over there in spain and portugal right that was uh um, who was who was who was Jews, right? Who was practicing their uh, wor worship, right? But um, there was also our own people with um, these different orders, like the or um, order of Christ or the Nice Templars, and um, there was all kind of different orders to that, like within that region, and um, basically they had an option to uh, follow Catholicism, all right? And uh, basically what they did, if they didn't want to follow the Catholicism, all right, because ultimately the, the Catholicism, you know, was all set up, right? Because um, when you read about um, So lucky I'm my uh um, with um when you read about Constantine the Great, all right, um, you know, that whole church you know, was set up by uh you know the so called Byzantine by our people. All right, and um it was basically uh they incorporated uh Sunday worship or Saturday worship, right? And all these different types of uh worship, you know, they um also um Mary and child worship or uh, you know basically the Tammuz and Ceramicis worship and all that you know that whole thing was set up by Constantine the Great and um, you know that's how they were able to uh, you know like to conquer and to um, like to basically like to use that Christianity you know to um, you know like to control the world and that's what we like, like basically like this is what our people did all right and um let's uh go um many sephardic spanish and portuguese jews left the iberian peninsula at the end of the 15th century through the 16th century in in search of religious freedom right so um that's why a lot of our people a lot of our people came to the new world all right through uh the caribbean you know as well as uh the americas you know and they set up uh you know the colonies and they established themselves you know new amsterdam you know and basically it'd be, it'd be new york right um you know with the rakakwadash permits uh you know and guide me because uh, I have certain notes and uh, certain books and accounts so Lord's will uh, I could uh, get it going and rolling um, through the Raka Kodash this is um, some 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 migrated to the new like the newly independent Dutch province which welcomed the Sephardic Jews Many of the Jews who left for the Dutch province were crypto Jews, all right? So they were on basically, you know, they were under uh, under the Catholicism, you know, and basically a lot of them were Jews, but they were basically, uh, you know, practicing, you know, like Christianity, and also 
there was a lot of Moors, right, uh, who was also, uh, you know, who was practicing their Islam, right. So uh, that was a whole mess because basically, like the Mohammedans, you know, when you read about the like the Median the constitution, that was set up by uh, the Jews, by us, you know. When you read about that, you know, the constitution of Medina, you know, that was all set up. You know, by uh, so-called Muhammad. You know, and um, basically, uh, uh, that caused a lot of havoc throughout uh, North Africa. You know, and uh, there's many, there was many wars. You know, seven eleven uh, A.D. You know, with um, basically a lot of our people. Uh, you know, they were, st they were. Uh, Cause there was a lot of uh, church. There was a lot of uh, our people over there in the Iberian Peninsula, right? Who was, uh, you know, who was Christian kings, you know, and basically they, uh, with the Moors or the Berber Moors or the or the Berber Jews, a lot of them they uh, they they were a part of that whole uh, of the whole Islamic. Um, that res the whole Islamic revolution, you know, and basically, uh, you know, the Strait of uh, that the Strait of Gibraltar, and uh, basically, uh, you know, like they conquered, you know, they, uh, you know, they took a lot of slaves, you know, and they took a lot of you know so-called white slaves or you know Edom Edomite slaves. You know, and uh, they were being sold around the world. All right, and um, it's very vast because uh, our people, uh, you know, was had a great monopoly in the slave trade, man. You know, um, if you watch this uh, movie on uh, Netflix, what's it called? Um, about the uh, uh, African uh, so-called queen. All right. Um, do you read about it, or you watch it on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Uh, what's it called? African Queen. <laughs> the African Queens, Nijanja. All right. And uh, basically, um, yeah, our people, the Portuguese, all right, who uh, formed alliance, you know, with uh, the people of Congo. All right, this is a like a Congolese uh, prince. All right, and uh, basically, uh, a lot of our people would sell out like their own uh, kinsmen or clansmen or clansmen you know um you know for uh you know human trafficking you know basically uh the slave trade right basically uh, that's what happened Deuteronomy uh 22 let me get a scripture because this is a very good uh thing on netflix african uh, queen and then ginger or whatever um, very good uh, Good series Because it shows you uh, It was a whole uh, slave trade Not only through uh, the so-called uh, West Not not only through uh, the transatlantic slave trade All right, you had the barbarian slave trade or the Berbers, you know, they had uh, the, the Edomites in captivity too. All right, we had, uh, you know, because uh, basically uh, under the Islam or Muslim, or Islam or in, um, the Christianity, you know, our people were uh, were prominent, you know, of uh, selling our own people, you know, if they don't want to, um, follow Catholicism or if they don't want to follow their Islam you know they uh, you know they were rounded up 
you know, on the man, woman, and child. All right. So uh, this is what's gonna happen again. Um, Deuteronomy uh, twenty twenty eight and verse forty eight. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and the want of all things. And he will put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. If I could uh, show this. So like, yeah. You know, um, this is what happened. All right. We were destroyed, you know, um, and uh, our people were um at the at the the forefront you know because we had um uh, a lot of uh great influence and power you know throughout europe you know portugal spain all right and basically uh you know when the so-called borgia family with their whole uh renaissance rebirth they came back you know these edomites you know um that they still had to use the navigator as you read about Prince Henry the navigator and um, you know they had uh, you know a whole coalition and basically um, you know his uh, you know Prince Henry the navigator his uh, thing was to uh, explore the world you know and basically uh, the, like set up shop but basically uh, you know the Pope Right, which means father, you know, uh, Alexander the Sixth of Rome. Um, that's when the Edomites started to, you know, like come to power. But they still had to have, uh, like, have uh, like the navigators, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, like to navigate the sea because uh, we already had the maps, you know, the whole, uh, the whole. Uh, all that know about that science right uh you know of uh even uh with the cannons the guns and all that that all that was set up by the moors by our people it says england england uh this is um the this is like the slave trade. This is like a PDF. Uh, all right, because um, our people played a major role through this slave trade, and not just uh, the trying the um, like the triangular slave trade. You know, there is uh the slave trade throughout the whole of uh africa right from um you know south africa you know um you know kenway kenya uganda there's a lot of air our people you know and uh you know there's even edomites you know throughout uh north africa you know that was being rounded up and sold right because uh Slavery was a big business. All right, and England. Then uh, it says the dumb, like says the like says dominicated the slave trade uh, from the eight from sixteen ninety until eighteen o seven. But any anyone could become a slave, uh, a slave trader. All right, and. Uh, you know, we know, um, you know, um, the Bauer family, which became uh, the Red Shield, right? This is, uh, you read about Amchel Bauer, you know, he was a money changer, all right? And uh, basically, um, they, uh, he, he gave out loans to certain, uh, European uh, kings, you know, and basically, uh, you know, like this is how he became uh, wealthy through, um, you know, through, um, you know, through usury, and basically, uh, like that's how he set. That's how he uh, set up his uh, five sons, who uh, went throughout um, 
I believe five uh five places in Europe. I think uh fr uh France um I think Austria. I read about that his uh family and that's how they established themselves and they're still making profit. Um you know but um you know a lot of our people was making profit too through uh the slave trade man all right and i'm stuck if i'm kind of all over the place but um that's what happened you know you had um the royal african company the royal african company was a uh, english merchant merchant in uh, English mercantile trading company set up in 16, 1660 by the royal Stuart family, a citizen of London merchant to trade along with the west west coast of Africa. All right, so uh, the Stuarts or the Jacobites, you know, they were uh, involved in the slave trade. All right, and, um, you know, and this was a a, a big uh, a big uh, bulk of wealth, you know, through uh, human trafficking, right? Like what they would call it, All right? And um, you know, we had even you know you Edomites as uh, servants. It says uh, the Dutch West Indian Company, uh, Geo. Trips, this or this is a Dutch, but it says a Dutch pronunciation. Uh, English Charter West Indian Company. West Indian Company was a charter a company of by the Dutch merchants as well as foreign investors. Right, and uh, it was granted was granted um it was granted a charter for uh, for, uh, for a trade monopoly in the dutch west indian companies by republic of seven nations like seven united like netherlands right? so um giving like jurisdiction over the dutch participation in the Atlantic slave trade Brazil the Caribbean right and um, that's why a lot of the Sephardic pirates you know um, they were set up you know and basically they were funded by the Dutch so um, then you had the Portuguese so um, there was a big monopoly man through uh, human trafficking through the slave right? a monopoly to sell you know a single right? Mana single alone to sell to describe um Irving fisherman it is a marketing market which the abundance of competition creates is a situation where specific person and the enterprise is the only supply of particular things right and right now we're under this uh you know we're under slavery right now all right through uh you know the stock exchange you know and um everything's on the stock exchange you know your whole uh birth certificate your sin card you know throughout the americas uh, you know they're different uh resources and all that everything's on the stock exchange even our ourselves even ourselves you know and um let me put this slack yeah one second yeah so um yeah so a lot of our people um were set up ports you know and um you know this is what happened you know because uh i have um english you know i come out of that same uh i come out of that stock through my father's side of the uh stewards as well of 
that branch and um, of the Costas, all right? Because uh, we, uh, you know, not every, a lot of our people, a lot of our people were, uh, were nomad, or like, like a lot of our people were uh, royalties, you know, through the Americas, you know, through the world, right? And uh, we established colonies, you know, the Portuguese, you know, they set up colonies throughout uh, Asia, throughout India, you know, the Philippines, you know, um, one second, it's very vast. You know, it says, uh, Yaya Ben Rabbi, all right, which are Ben ne Yaya Ben Negro, right, which he basically, uh, you know, that Negro just means black, and basically, uh, they were Jews, you know, noblemen, you know, so, um, so not all the, not all the Moors, you know, practice Islam. A lot of our people practice, you know, our uh, nationality, knowing who we are, right, as uh, the house of Judah, right, the sons of Israel, right. So, uh, Yahya ben Rabbi or Yahya ben no uh negro was a portuguese nobleman he was reputed to to be a direct descendant of the hebrew of the hebrew exi exiles of the ancient babylon iraq to claim direct descendant from babel i mean like says from on uh, says from the biblical king david and was uh Imp impenis uh, like a impenis progenitor of the Ibn Yahya family, right? So, uh, you know, they were Jews, right? And, um, you know, and, and their lineage could go back, you know, to, uh, you know, to the times of, um, of our captivity through, um, the Persians, you know, Persian captivities, you know, the Babylonian captivity. So, um, uh, could do your own research as well. Yaya Ben Rabbi or Yaya Ben Negro or the Negro. Uh, and, uh, this is what happened, man, through, uh, this trying to land the slave trade. Let's get it. Therefore shall ye, shall thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and he will and in one all thing and he will put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring ye nation again against thee from far and from the ends of the earth as swift as the eagle, as a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right? That's why our people there like they're into the different lands you know because before some of our people were speaking hebrew aramaic you know um you know hebrew you know first and foremost and basically we were you know we're scattered you know especially here in the americas especially uh north america all right but uh right now there's a whole uh human trafficking or slave trade right now of our people, you know, through the sub-Saharan slave trade or the, or the so-called barbarian coast, you know, throughout uh, Tanzania, um, Algeria, you know, like the Mauritania, you know, Nigeria, you know, because a lot of our people are practicing that Islam, right? So there's a lot of human trafficking or so-called uh, slave trade, you know, of um of our people you know our people are selling each other you know and uh selling them you know they're selling our uh, our people to the ishmaelites to the edomites 
Cause you know you either might was in uh like you either might was in captivity too. Alright, because we had you guys under uh, our foot. One second. Yes, this is the book Nature.